in small villages in the south of France would be Bastille Day, right? The 14th of July. Or potentially Christmas, or New Year's, Le Réveillon. Or even maybe to celebrate La Galette des Rois. But, surprisingly, in August is when there are sometimes week-long festivals in different villages throughout southern France. Come with us so we can show you what to expect if you go to southern France and want to do la fête du village. Thursday, we kicked off with a fascinating village tour exploring the historic stones that built our community. The mayor's office treated us to an apéro, which is appetizers, followed by a delightful village dinner where everyone shared homemade dishes. It was a heartwarming, community-centered evening. <laughs> Then Friday, the day began with an abrivado, a thrilling event where Camargue horses and their riders escort bulls through the village streets. Traditional French shirts and music from a local orchestra added to the festive atmosphere. Despite a brief rain shower, the evening featured another exhilarating bull run. Guys, you have to experience this. It is pretty epic. As a native Frenchie coming back after 20 years expatriated in the United States, I can tell you this is so much fun and worth seeing. If you have questions about any of these events from Southern France, please let me know and I can explain each of these more in detail to you. Hey, Saturday, another morning a privado, followed by the exciting Toro Piscine where brave souls tried to get a bull to chase them into a pool. Don't worry, no bulls were harmed, only a few people who got too close. The night exploded with a spectacular Vegas-style show, delicious food, local wine, and vibrant performances. Day four of partying it up. How are you feeling, Jess? <laughs> Great. Can you hang? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> In our little village, who can believe that there's so much activity? It's insane. And the kids are living their best life ever, that's for sure. A tiny village, and this this festival is bigger than anything that we've seen in Vegas or anything anywhere we've been. It's pretty cray cray. All right, I'm gonna hang. Coffee is my best friend right now. <laughs> Hey guys, and the coolest thing in small villages in France is when they, they have these festivals that, as I mentioned, are pretty common. And usually around this time of year, what they'll do is that they keep the horses in a field. And so between the days of the festival, whether it's two days or four days for the specific village, they'll have them here, you know, drinking water, eating, resting. They take really good care of horses in France overall. And it's really neat to just be able to experience this. And we hope that you are experiencing it as well and you're loving the adventure. Bulls and horses return to the streets in the morning with different manad, showcasing their colorful attire, as you can see. The highlight was the apéro mousse, a bubble-filled frenzy for all ages. After a pretty chill afternoon where I got a few hours worth of work, the festivities resumed with more bull runs, toro piscine, music, and pétanque, bocce ball contests. Yeah, you
All right, so what do you think? Comment below. I'd love to know. I always love reading your comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and keep following Adventures in France. See you soon.